Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe. This is episode three of the Clash Manager tutorial series, which is basically a set of videos focused on recreating the outstanding Clash Manager systems found in Hearthstones by using Unit Engine and C# -sharp scripts. In the previous video, we have created more than 18 cards in this game. Inside UI Manager scripts, using for loop and get child methods can be beneficial because each card information which has been added on Inspector can be perfectly matched with one UI card game object on the UI canvas. Each page can only display at most 8 cards. Once we press the keyboard A or D, we can achieve 10 page feature. In this episode, we will continue our Clash Manager project and add more features on here. First of all, we need to create UI toggle game objects on both sides to make several search buttons. Then, we will go to Visual Studio and complete their basic event functions. Finally, doing code refactoring and clean your code. As always, the link for the project repository is on the description below. You can choose to escape the first two episodes and start from this episode. Feel free and check out for yourself. By the way, I have already prepared the text version of this episode. Ok, let's get into it. Now we have opened up Unity, there are only 3 c -sharp scripts in this project. Card script will only focus on all of the information that each card will contain, such as card name, descriptions, sprite, and other gameplay stuff. The collections of cards has been stored inside the card manager script. We can manually edit each card information on Inspector. Inside UI manager script, once we press the keyboard D, we will turn to the next page. When we press the keyboard A, we will turn to the last page. This is our display cards function. Each page will only display at most 8 cards. Go back to Unity, select Gallery Panel Game Object, right click, go UI, and select Image. Press the preset button and snap to the right side of the parent game object. Change its size. Under this right search panel, create another UI image and resize it. Replace the source image. Press the preserve aspect which can ensure image remains existing dimension. Then adding one UI text as the child of this search button. Press the preset button and hold Alt and Shift to snap to the center of the point. Change the text lines and its size. Also change the font. After completing the first search button, select Right Panel Game Object. Add Vertical Layout Group component, which places its child layout elements on top of each other. Then, select the Search Tab Game Object, also known as Search Button Game Object. Press Command D or Control D on my keyboard to duplicate the search button. You can press the checkbox on Inspector for the better appearance. Also, the most direct way is to resize the right panel. Then, change each button's text content. Making sure you have selected the right panel game object. Add toggle group component. Although there is nothing happen, a toggle group is not a visible UI control, but rather a way to modify the behavior of a set of toggles. Toggles that belong to the same group, such as its children, are constrained so that only one of them can switch on at a time. Pressing one of them to switch it on automatically switch the others off. Then, select all of the search button game objects. Add toggle component and drag the toggle group inside this empty sort. Change 
they are selected color for easy to check during gameplay. If we run our scene, once we press another toggle, only one of them can switch on at a time. We can go to toggle component and check out the is on property. Cool. Likewise, we can use the same step to create left panel which contains another five search buttons. If we want to search by card class, we can press these buttons. Also, don't forget to add toggle group on left panel. Select all of the search buttons on left side and add toggle component as well. Drag the toggle group game object inside this empty sort. Here, I gave each button different selected color. Nice. Go to UI Manager script. First of all, we don't want a bunch of lines inside this update methods. We can create another private functions and then remove this group inside this new function. Go back to Unity, select all of search buttons on right side. Press the plus button. Now it's time to create toggle event functions to find out what we are searching for. Inside Visual Studio, create two public functions called search by manner, search by class. Only public access modifier can be accessed inside the callback function. When we go back to Unity, we can select off buttons on the right side. Then select search by manner functions on view change section. However, we cannot find search by class function. I don't know the detailed reason, but I guess these sections did not support the enum parameters yet. So let's replace with the string type. The search by manner function is super easy because we have understand the display cards functions on episode one. There is the same methods for loop all of cards in this game. If one of cards manner cost is equal to our parameter manner value, then we can display any cards which is matched with this condition. We can copy and paste this group inside the function. For easy to read, I press the plus button on the left side to close the switch statements. Don't forget the else statements. Once the i is matched with this condition, the rest of cards which is not satisfied with this condition should be hidden. We used set active to be false. Likewise, inside search by class function, for loop all of cards in this game. Once one of card, its cards class string type is equal to the parameter. Display any cards which is matched with this condition. Save the script and switch bank. Change their parameters value on inspector first. For this to work, we need to make sure the string type parameter name must be exactly matched with your class name you declare on card script.
if we enter the play mode. First, let's make sure our keyboard A and D can work. Cool. Pay attention to here. The last search button shall search for any cards which their mana cost is more than 8 instead of searching for only 8 mana cost cards. The lazy way is to create another function and change its condition. Later, we will make code refactoring and combine these two functions together. Perfect. You will notice that only this part is different between these two functions. We can create a new function called search by manner to replace. We can first copy and paste the first part. Then add one if statement. Once the parameter manner value is less than 8, we will run the first previous function. In else statements, once the parameter manner value is greater or equal than 8, we will call the second part. Let's command or delete these two previous functions and go back to Unity. Select the new functions on Inspector and change their parameters. Now this time, our button can search for any cards by using one function. There are many repeatable codes on UI Manager. For easy to read, let's create one new function called display single card. Create one parameter by integer type called i. Call these functions on their original places. You can use this function instead of writing a bunch of codes each time when you use it. It can save your time and easy to read, especially for your teammates. Now, let's use these functions to clean our UI manager. However, we ignore the fact that once we have a bunch of cards, when we press the search button, the results cards number will over 8. Our page did not display correctly again. So there are a lot of things to do later. Alright, this is the end of this video. In the next episode, we will add more cards again, which can make sure our search results will over than 8. Then we will fix the update page UI function 
and finish the search by manner functions completely. No matter we turn the page in standard format or searching by manner cost, we can display the correct page text on UI canvas. You can expect episode 4 to come out in 2 to 3 days. As always, you can download the project from the description below. By the way, you can join our server on Discord. Stay tuned for future updates from my channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share with friends, and subscribe to my channel. There is much more to come. I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.